If you enjoy using the bladder beam add-on and you love it, then very simple way you can contribute for the development of it. With the latest releases, now it's much easier to report issues. So let's have a look at this. We can see that right now we get very visible error messages here in the interface. In my case, I just tried to update my Blender Beam version and I get this error right here. It tells me something that I don't have the correct version and we can do some things about this right we see that in my case this is the error blender beam could not load you will get also the same error if you do something else if you try to use a tool that is has something some bug or something like that or yeah if something unexpected happened you'll get this error and it's very cool that you can see which version you have right and we can see that i have blender for one darwin irm64 let's see is that the right one here splash screen yeah 4.1.0 so I don't have the 4.1 version it doesn't matter like the whole point of this video is actually to guide you through this error message so it's not important what is the error message but how to deal with it so this is telling me which version I installed and we can see Python 3.11 BBM 00 24 from the year 06 June and 07 today's day right and this is the right version that I was supposed to. And we get all recommendation right here. So by clicking this, it will re-download the same file. Let's see, how can I fix this? I click here and we will see blah, 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 a lot of things here. We can see some guidance, but if you end up with knowing that it's an error, you tried all those things and it's not working. You can just click here, copy error message to clipboard. And now you go to GitHub and you create an issue for that. So let's see. Where is it? Because it should be here. Here, report a bug, right? So that's what you have to do. Go here and click on report a bug. You mentioned here, error. When launching, for example, and you paste here the code. It's cool if you use this code symbol from here because it will be formatted as code. And this is the error, right? That's how we do it. Again, doesn't matter the error in my case, but this is pretty cool because before it was more difficult to do that. And now this should be simple and easy for everyone to do that. You will need to create a GitHub account, but that would be very, very cool if you do it because this is a very nice way to contribute to this amazing project that is providing us with so amazing opportunities every day.